Good morning, welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have some partly to mostly cloudy conditions out there this morning. A nice tranquil morning once again, high pressure and control from New England. And have a slight chance of some sprinkles later on tonight into tomorrow morning, but otherwise seeing dry conditions in the next 24 hours. Looking at our current surface analysis, we have this weak boundary. It's currently west and south of our region, high pressure from New England building in, continuing to give us dry conditions. An area low pressure over the Midwest is going to be tracking slowly towards the region for this weekend. So our current observation this morning, scattered deck around 8,500 feet, broken deck at 25,000 feet with cirrus, east winds at 6 knots, temperature 56 degrees, and relative humidity at 77%. So taking a look at our camera shot this morning, you can see that cloud cover around 8,500 feet off the north and over the region. That's going to be continuing today. Also seeing that cirrus cloudiness above that uh, this morning. So taking a look at the 3 kilometer NAM and fast forwarding into our rain shower chances. This is at uh, one local Friday morning. You can see those rain showers really kind of dying out as they move towards the region. As this area high pressure over New England continues to filter down some decently dry conditions across our region. We'll still have an increase of cloud cover as well as some possible low-level cloud cover for tomorrow morning. And could see some sprinkles right around that 8 a.m. 8 hour uh, tomorrow morning. We'll move into Friday afternoon. Going to see that boundary kind of continue to stay over the region, and I mentioned earlier, and that's going to give us slight chances of seeing a sprinkle or a light rain shower. Best chance of that looks like it'll be off to the north and to the west of the region, but once we move into Friday night, going to see a warm front move through the region and that's going to give us a decent chance of some showers and a very isolated thunderstorm. So uh, looking like those thunderstorm chances around 15% for Friday night into Saturday morning as well as the rain shower chances running about 45%. So a decent chance of seeing some uh, rain showers. Not a lot of precipitation in total but uh, a good chance of seeing some uh, light rain showers to moderate rain showers from time to time, Friday night into Saturday morning. Then Saturday, we'll see some clearing conditions, morning low clouds, and then I'll uh, burn off to some warm and uh, fairly nice spring weather for our Saturday afternoon. So looking at the risk chart for today, we'll have some slightly breezy east winds today, gusting up at 20 knots, sustained around 10 to 15. Then we'll see those winds die down overnight and becoming more southeasterly at 7 to 12 knots. A high today, cooler at 62 with that onshore flow and the decent amount of mid-level cloudiness around eight to 10,000 feet. Tonight, we'll see the low in the lower 50s, around 51 degrees. Uh, ocean temperatures around 48 right now. So with that uh, cloud cover staying in here, as well as the onshore flow, I'm going to go a little bit warmer than that uh, ocean temperature as uh, we do have the winds off the water with the clouds in here. So a low around 51, as I mentioned. Our next 24 hours, our terminal forecast should see VFR conditions today. Then we'll build in possibility of some low-level cloud cover around 600 to 500 feet overnight and increase our mid-level cloudiness as well. Slight chance of seeing a rain shower tomorrow morning after 6 local. And that will continue through the morning hours of Friday. Overall today, our cloudiness will most likely be around eight to 10,000 feet. And we'll see a mostly cloudy sky around a ceiling at 10,000 feet or mostly cloudy deck at 10,000 feet uh, for this afternoon. Our tides are slightly above normal, and looking at Friday into Saturday. Friday, mostly clouded overcast, slight chance of rain shower and low clouds. A low, of, excuse me, a high of 63 degrees. We'll see precipitation chances in the morning and uh, in the afternoon around 25 to 20%. So not a high chance of uh, seeing that Friday morning, but uh, can't rule out a sprinkle as well as the low clouds. Friday night. Most of cloud overcast with low clouds and scattered rain showers, a very slight chance of a thunderstorm, a low of 55 degrees, looking like those rain shower chances around 45%, a good chance we see that low cloudiness with that warm front moving through. Then for Saturday, morning low clouds becoming partly mostly cloudy and mild, slight chance of a rain shower late on Saturday as a warm front or a boundary starts to move through the region, I should say. Uh, a high of around 70 degrees on Saturday, so a warm day, and we'll see those low clouds in here Saturday morning before they burn off Saturday afternoon. Well, that's going to complete our 815 Daily Operations Weather Brief. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.